Undying Rage. Dark Lotus. Huh. <laughs> They're already pulling Lotus. stuff. Dark Lotus. <laughs> oh, you make a little time. Hey, the man. <laughs> It'd be good to see a friendly face. Your old friend Juan Sound be having a bit of trouble with the boss, man. Hey, man, long time no see. I be having a little bit of trouble with me, boss. Where you be hiding all them sandalary souls, Bon Sunday? Give them to your boss, man, now! Sooner or later, every Real sorry. To me. So you can be sending them to the mall? No, no, no. Them is my people, Mazala. No way I go give them up. <laughs> You always be soft, one Sunday. Weak! Sooner or later you're gonna break. Then the jailer be getting his doom. Wait. So yeah, like I said, the uh, dialogue gets cut off here where you can see he says, Wait! Ooh. Heroes! Me knew you was gonna kill up your old pal, one Sunday. Now, that's if you're a horde. If you're an alliance, he goes, Hey, hey, heroes, uh, no hard feelings about, uh, what happened back in, um, uh, Zandala, eh? You know, referring to the fight in the BOD raid. No, he is a lower, you might be. And, of course, he asks us to help out, help us out, <laughs> to help him out by getting the mojo. And this is where he tells us, oh my gosh, hold on. Okay, yeah, our druid tank is... Yeah, he's pretty geared. He's also got a nice uh, over a thousand Raider IO ring, so he's just annihilating everything. So we're gonna be going through this pretty quick because he's just completely wrecking everything. But one of the things I like about some of the dialogue in this is where Bonsamdi's like, so here's a law you might know. I can't always be a bad law, but hey, you know, a deal's a deal. One time they always be working to make a deal. And then I like how he thinks we're looking at him. He goes, now what you give me that look for? Sure, Haka, be a law of blood. But a deal is a deal, man. Just give me Mojo back. So yeah, I'm sure the rest of us here are using this to kind of try and get ourselves a little bit geared and such. Whereas this guy might be in here, I don't know for a weekly or something. Oh, wait. That's right, you can't attack those. Never mind. Oh, he's got the Balance of Power skin. I'm gonna get that myself once I'm done with this. That right there? The Ursol skin. Balance of Power. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and do that on this character. Probably after I'm done with the Night again. So yeah, Hakar... Was of course getting some power to be revived, but now we are here to uh, prevent that, basically. Nope, nope. All right, that's a nice little upgrade for me. That'll help. Replace the 120 with the 158? Yeah. Oh, uh. We got three druids in here. We got a tank, and we have uh, another one who, of course, is playing balance. Me want them souls, Bon Sandy. Me want Rasta Khan and all the other Zandalari. It ain't wise to be holding out on Wazala. You're gone and forgot what it mean to be a Loa. Your bond with the people, the power you share. The only power that counts be debt, and debt be coming for them all. Oh my gosh, we're spreading corrupted blood. What is this, vanilla? 
We're gonna take it all the way back to the capital city. They're still spreading corrupted blood! Oh gosh, that's funny. Rage. Undying Rage. Okay, this is getting silly. Undying Rage. Okay, can we stop spreading corrupted blood? You know, you do it just Why are we why do they want to keep spreading it? Because I want to respond like, what do you want to do? Take it back to the capital city? This isn't vanilla. I'm getting so distracted about this that I was just like, oh gosh. This is my only th issue sometimes. He can, of, of course, can deal with this because he's got the gear. The rest of us don't. The only way I know he's got the gear is because I can see his Raider IO score. None of us, the rest of us, have a score. I don't like that the only interrupt I have is Solar Beam, and it's got such a huge cooldown. This is one of the only things I don't like about the Druid class. It seems like there's no interrupt on the class. And I'm used to, you know, playing classes that have low interrupts. You know, like my Shaman has a very low cooldown on the interrupt. Others usually have like a 15 second cooldown on their interrupts. But Druids? Don't really seem to have one other than Solar Beam. And it just seems odd. You know? Alright. So let's see. Okay, so there we go. And our healer died. Oh, someone else died. Our tank. What have we here? That dusty old Loa has sent debt collectors already? But I haven't had his mojo long enough to create my masterpiece. Wait, you made a deal with one zombie too? I knew you took shortcuts in your shoddy work, Millhouse, but this is a new low. Well, I, uh, uh, hey, hold on a minute. You just admitted to doing the same thing I did, hypocrite. <laughs> Hmm. I wonder what happens if I use my mana storm toy. I'm gonna light you up, sweet cheeks. Now, of course, in the dungeon back in Legion, you would get a debuff from Maleficent if you face Maleficent. Ah, now this druid seems to already have the set, which means. They probably already finished the campaign as such. They probably have a decent amount of gear. Alright, here they are. 
I do love this encounter. It does get a little... Um, like on higher difficulties. It can get a little rough. A lot of damage. Hello beyond your comprehension! And then Bonsandi says one of the creepiest things in this dungeon to me. <laughs> Old Bonsandi had his share of romance back in the day. <laughs> More than his share. Don't be forgetting who made you a lower, Bonsandi. Now give me them souls and kneel before your master. That was long ago. Let me remember. Remember how the truths be turning away from you? All them sacrifices, all that blood, how they were gonna... We don't need worshippers. The jail are gonna give me all the power I need. And one Sandy the one who's gonna be forgotten. There's no way. There's no way that's Taliesin. Rage. Dark Lotus. Dark Lotus. Erupting darkness. So let me see what happens here. Apparently I got into a dungeon with Taliesin. Just a little, a little subtle way of letting them know that I am a uh, YouTuber myself, in case they want to uh, ask. So in case you're wondering, because I'm sure some of you may be going, oh gosh, come on, don't be gross. They're getting a little gross in the chat. But uh, Taliesin are a couple that run a channel mainly on YouTube, where they kind of do it almost like a news channel in regards to WoW, 
um, reporting on things that are going on in WoW and give their own opinions and such. They're relatively popular. He also streams. They also had a baby recently. Congratulations to them. I don't always agree, but... Uh... But they are quite entertaining. I do uh, like some of their stuff. Yeah, Italius and, and uh, Ivatel is uh, the wife of the couple. Italius and is very often... Uh, I see him streaming sometimes. This is the boss I don't like. Not really fond of uh, this boss here. Especially on higher difficulties. Man, I keep falling asleep. Now, where did you Let's get rid of the mill house. <laughs> These little friends of yours think they're gonna help you up one someday. What chance you'll be having against me? It was Zala who brought Helia to the jailer's side. Struck a deal for old Odin's eye and made the Banshee war chief with a whisper. You think you're one boss man? <laughs> Maybe you've been skulking in the shadows for too long. <laughs> so, I honestly don't know if this is actually the real Taliesin. He's on the Hydral server and he's part of a guild called Moon Ascendant. Not really sure if that's the case. If that's true, we'll find out. What way? Or I'm sure somebody out there is gonna know. And if so, cool. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh crap, oh crap. I just have a soul shape there. That's a great way to dodge that. It's gonna take me a little while. Trying to uh, get used to do this dungeon in as uh, this uh, class. Okay, uh, two of our people already died. You can't be holding me forever. Got me out yet, old Lua. There no escape. Darkness is mine. 
What's that? Shadows take ya! There we go. Darkness be my Darkness be my Watch me. Oh gosh, oh gosh. The best early. The price don't matter now. Foolish mortals. Me be the true god of death. You never hear about your people. Only you how. All right. So yeah, this is how the fight is supposed to go. Unlike the first time I did this. Times change, man. Mortals never be as weak as you believe them to be. You see, they have potential. But don't you be worrying about a thing. You're gonna be having plenty of time to learn from your mistakes. <laughs> you did good, heroes, yeah. But what Mozilla got coming, yet for mortal eyes. Take your trinkets and be gone with ya! That be some big talk, one Sunday. But you be nothing before the jailer. You better watch your tongue, little thing. I am one in your Sunday debt. One Sunday, the boss man now. Hold on a second. Let me check something here real quick. Hmm. Well, He's not streaming right now. I was curious if he was actually streaming this right now on his stream. <laughs> yeah, I figured.
<laughs> Say hi to YouTube. So, what brings you to visit lonely old one Sam? Now that the old boss be a captive audience, he and I are gonna be making some new arrangements. You best be going now, but don't worry. I be seeing you soon. See you soon. <laughs> Real soon. Nice little slash wave. But yeah, that I feel like I've kind of redeemed myself. I wasn't even able to do that on my own. It, the way that usually kind of works out, you kind of... Now, on lower difficulties there, you saw uh, this was just normal difficulty. It's only the two portals on the sides, which was something I didn't know the first time I did this dungeon. Now, on higher difficulties, you actually get portals behind you as well. The way you can set it up, especially if you are trying to you know, beat the timer on a Mythic Plus, the way that they uh, we do it is before we pull, we uh, decide, okay... Um, you take the portal on the on the front left, you take the portal on the front right, you take the portal at the back left, and then the healer and the tank will take the portal on the back right, or some other combination like that. And you hopefully have a composition where each DPS can kind of handle themselves on their own at each um, shrine, so that you can try and get all four of them down in one go so that you can quickly burst down the boss and be able to you know make the timer um so on lower difficulties though it's just the two portals so you're going at this a little longer um that's why when you, the first time i did this on camera uh his health just melted because by then they took down all four of the shrines and once that happens he just melts but until then he has like a big damage reduction so you're really not gonna be doing that much damage until you start taking the shrines down at that point you're basically just waiting for his uh you know abilities and trying to figure out how to either just straight up avoid them is what you're doing um, obviously you need to make sure you avoid the big smash you have the big aoe that dot that he puts on you which can be a big aoe explosion on the ground um by the time he does the big smash and you listen for those certain cues you know like when he says your life be mine you know the smash is coming down um when he says, so small, so weak, you know he's going to be shooting blood on one half. And you look to see where he's going to be arching back. So then you have to head to the other side. And the other one is the big darkness uh, punch ability he does, which is the other half of the platform. So you just kind of avoid those. So you're basically just kind of avoiding his abilities until he does uh, tear, you know, the big... Uh, explosion like terror reality or whatever it's called and once somebody opens the portal you take down the shrine and that's when you did do all your big cooldowns i was doing the wrong thing and not using my cooldowns uh when we got the shrines but then again two of them died um and yeah um i figured the chances of me actually running into somebody <laughs> um you know that famous just kind of doing this it was just kind of like seriously there's no way um besides he's like i'm pretty sure they live on the other side of the planet from where i live so i'm pretty sure he's not quite up streaming just yet um at the time i'm recording this it's 2 a.m for me i'm doing a little late night recording but for him it would be kind of more so close to the daytime but then like, i don't know what their schedule is like um but uh I mean, I got nothing against Tali Taliesin and Evitel. Um, I don't always agree with some of their uh, things that they, you know, either guess or theorize or say. Um, but I do find some of their. I do. I will say this. I do appreciate the amount of quality and production value that they do put into their content and their videos. I can tell there's a lot of work and editing that goes into that, and that's something I very much appreciate um, as someone who also does this when it comes to the behind the scenes perspective and i can understand the amount of time and work that goes into that that's something i very much appreciate and praise them for um especially these days when they are now new parents um again congratulations to them for finally for uh you know becoming uh first-time parents very happy for them 
And, uh, you know, I thought it was really cute when uh, they were doing the Q&A at BlizzCon and uh, <laughs> Evatel said that they were going to have their own Shadowlands baby. I thought, oh, that's really cute and adorable. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it you know, it would it would it would have been, been crazy and cool if that actually was him, uh, Taliesin, but I highly doubted it. Um, but yeah, that was just kind of funny that then after the tank leaves, the demon hunter is like, yeah, I didn't want to burst his bubble. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, we have helped Buon Samdi by going to the other side with a, with a few other champions, and we have helped him get free of the torture that Mozala was putting him under, and now Bonsamdi should be able to kind of turn the tables here, uh, which is going to help us out because it was very clear that Mozala was helping the Jailer. So this now removes Mozala as a power figure and an asset from the Jailer's forces, where now he's not going to be able to be in a position to help them anymore, which is a big deal. It also, once again, continues to help uh, prevent him from doing harmful things to Ardenweald, as well as catching more of the wild seeds and capturing more Loa and such. We've also, for I don't, we haven't permanently killed a car because even when somebody says uh, he'll be back someday, you can't keep a bad Loa down. So, but we've probably prolonged and put off his return for a very long time. That's just my guess. Uh, and I have no idea where uh, Millhouse and Maleficent are going to go off at this point. Uh, <laughs> who knows? But um, I highly doubt we have seen the last of those two. Cute couple. Um, when we return, it seems Ysera has something more to talk to us about in regards to Taronda and the Night Warrior. Stay tuned. <laughs> 